How to not get seized on Pandabuy. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. If you have been shopping on Pandabuy and you've had some issues in the past with having your parcels seized at customs, then this is the correct video for you. Now, first of all, we want to know what we are shipping and where we are shipping it to, and that makes all the difference. Going into this main page over here, from your home page, you'll see an estimation tab and we can just tap on that. Now, basically over here, it gives you the opportunity to see all of the different ways you can have your goods shipped. So, first of all, we are going to enter in a destination and a weight. Now, for example, I'm going to use a thousand grams, which is equal to one kilogram. And then on the destination side over here, we're going to just tap this arrow and it's going to give us a menu now we can select what it is that we need or where we need to ship our goods to then on the right hand side you can tap on inquire and once you tap on that it'll give you a bunch of options now if you are shipping to the US there are a number of shipping services that you should use and there are a number of services that you shouldn't use if you're shipping to the US UPS is always faster however the ems over here the kr ems is actually a better fare because it actually comes with insurance and their policies are different so the thing is to look out for here is making sure that there is a not specifically a fastest delivery but you're looking at their security and their insurance details so if you are shipping to the UK, then there is another service that you can actually use. So we're going into United Kingdom and we're going to use all the same weight details. Going all the way down, you can skip all of this and you can actually have a look at GDE EMS. So this is this one over here. And this is actually going to be your best bet in terms of not having your goods seized. Uh, some of the other UK um shipping services that you can use is uk line so um uk pd line which is this one over here and then if you're shipping basically to any other country outside of the uk or us let's say if perhaps you're um, shipping to uh, south africa uh, let's just enter those details in over there so that's south africa and again we're going to hit inquire we can have a look at services such as GDEMS. So that one you can use going out of your US and your UK. And then another one you can use actually over here is Aramex. So another two points that you must look out for, firstly, is reading their insurance policy. So whichever service you're using, depending on what their insurance policy is, if your stuff is seized at customs in your country you may be able to get your amount refunded to you and secondly wanting to avoid having your items or your packages seized is actually packaging or transporting packages that are less than 10 kilograms they just generally come across as less suspicious packages and there you go if you don't want your items seized or your items are already seized at customs in your country then this is how you can go about avoiding having that done i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like if you enjoy our content don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video cheers for now